inside the homes of Yves Saint Laurent. In this video, we will be touring his homes in Paris, Normandy, and Marrakesh. Over the course of Eve's lifetime, he owned many homes, particularly in Paris, one of them being on Rue Bonaparte, which is seen here. In the entryway, you would get a feeling that you weren't even in Paris, but in a private country home, as you overlooked lush trees and beautiful foliage. You were surrounded by marble walls and marble floors and looked onto the breakfast room. The grandeur, scale, and style of the home was exquisite, and keeping with every home that he has owned, this one too is filled floor to ceiling with incredible, beautiful, and unique objects. Every room took on a different style and mood, as seen by this salon. Dark and sumptuous, it still brings in beautiful light, as he chose to highlight the contrast of the dark and light elements of the space. Arguably, one of Eve's most celebrated and beautiful homes is Chateau Gabriel in Normandy, France. He stated that he had been summering in Marrakesh ever since 1966, but began to be tired of the heat, so he took a house near Normandy. The home had been empty and uninhabited since the war. There were even holes in the roof, but he adored the view and thought it to be one of the most beautiful in the world. To help design his new home, he called upon Jacques Grongui. Eve envisioned the home to be a richly layered celebration of the objective and subjective interior worlds of Proust's characters and their noble dwellings. The Grand Salon was one of the finest rooms in the home. The walls were inspired by Claude Monet's water lilies, and the furnishings were done in the Louis XV, Napoleon III, and Art Nouveau styles. The dining room is dressed in a pale yellow version of Monet's water lilies. The floor is a black and cream-colored marble, and the French 19th century neo-gothic chairs surround the English mahogany table. 
But as the years progressed, Eve would change the table and chairs. In the library, Monet's water lilies continued to inspire and delight the eye, with the walls still keeping in their pale and neutral tone. The main color themes of this room are of cream and pale green with accents of brown. It is from this room that you enter into the conservatory, also known as the Winter Garden. The room was recreated in a 19th century style and was always filled with orchids. We can also see Diefenbachias, Lilies, Dracaenas, Spathophyllums, and varieties of ferns, palms, and ficus. Now together, let's view a few of the bedrooms at the chateau. Each one featured its own colors, styles, and unique textures. And more often than not, the wall coverings would match that of the curtains, flooring, and duvet. After Eve's death, there was a dacha built on that same property, that being a small cottage house. The home was lined in antique Moroccan-style stained glass doors and a pine paneling. The space was used as a fanciful retreat and was thought of as a vacation home without having to travel very far. Eve bought Villa Oasis in Marrakesh in 1980. He quickly and carefully began restoring the gardens and home to their former glory. It has been said that he walked into the foyer and saw the beautiful colors and intricate details and stated, this house is perfect for me. In the restoration process, he had a helping hand from Bill Willis and Jacques Grongui. Willis was in charge of all the Moroccan craft work and the wall decorations, while Jacques was in charge of all the interior decorations. The Grand Salon featured elaborate tile work and wall decorations. There were varieties of hand-painted pieces and a set of early 20th century armchairs and a desk. The library was beyond exquisite with Assyrian desk, carved and painted cedar ceiling, French upholstered armchairs, and a variety of coveted antiques. The room is filled with extraordinary details that take your breath away. After purchasing the home, he added an additional wing onto the house. This space was more cheerful and lighter in color, and he called it the Salon Matisse. Taking a look at the bedrooms now, in this room, the headboard is hand-carved and hand-painted to match the entirety of the space 
and the floor is done in green marble. This room was Eve's. The walls, ceiling, and shutters were all hand decorated in red, black, and gold. The third floor was a space that Eve personally designed and painted. It was from the 19th century French bamboo table in the center of the room that he would design and create his beautiful fashion sketches, some of the best of the 20th century. Please let me know in the comments which home was your favorite and why. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.